Hey folks, this is Nico from Cliff Jones RV over here in Sealy. I want to make this video for you about this brand new Laredo 332BH. So the really great thing about this floor plan is that, you know, I find a lot of people uh, that work on the road want a bunkhouse for the family when they're having vacation, but want also that comfort of a rear living uh, when they're traveling by themselves for work. So this one's really great floor plan. It's very flexible, and I'm going to tell you a little bit more about it here. Uh, it does have an electric tongue jack, of course, with a unit of this um, caliber. It has two large propane tanks, plenty for a weekend getaway. Uh, it does also have lights on the cap of uh, the front cap of this unit to help you hook up and unhook in all lighting conditions. The great thing about this unit is that the sidewall, uh, the front cap does wrap all the way around the sidewall so that you know, on lesser brands, whenever you have water hitting the seam right here, it has more likelihood to leak, but with this one it does not. Uh, also with the Laredo's, it is an all aluminum construction. Uh, all of the windows, all the storage units are framed out with aluminum uh, to be stronger and lighter versus other brands that are out there. Great thing about the storage doors, these are CNC machined out of the sidewall for a perfect fit. Also, they are very thick. These are not aftermarket doors that you find on lesser products. Also, it does have magnets. Um, as opposed to clips, so it makes it very easy to open and close. Also, you don't have to worry about the plastic clips breaking as they tend to do. Uh, this unit features a lot of fifth wheel style appointments, uh, such as the slam baggage doors for ultimate insulation. Also on the Laredo's, they do have frameless windows. Uh, these are tinted for more privacy and energy efficiency. Also, you don't have to worry about the gaskets leaking uh, because they are the inside of the window, not the outside. Also, less work for you to have to do. Um, they work on a hinge system so they do pop out to where you can get cross ventilation going without um, worrying about rain or anything like that. Of course it does have an electric awning and does feature LED lights to illuminate this area at night. Uh, the great thing about these steps, they are hybrid aluminum steps so they are less likely to rust. Uh, they're very lightweight, easy to open and close. It also has an extra large door handle here to help people of all ages easily get in and out of your coach. It does also have a friction hinge door. Uh, it does not have that plastic deal here that always tends to break and become brittle over time, nor does it have the uh, pneumatic type storm door deal here. Uh, with the friction hinge, you don't have to worry about it slamming and hitting your RV. Uh, it's very easy to open and close. And you do have a secondary awning here as well with another LED light, plenty of coverage to be in the shade. Now, one of the best things, in my opinion, about the Laredo's is their outdoor kitchens. This is the grill and chill package. So the large door acts as a cover, and it does have a LED TV out here. It does have a very large refrigerator, one of the biggest ones out there in outdoor kitchens. And it has a dedicated radio, so if you're cooking outside, uh, you can enjoy your own entertainment, while the people inside can enjoy their own entertainment. And it does have a two burner cooktop here as well, so if you want to cook seafood, you don't have to pick up the coach, keep it outside. And it does feature LED lights here as well, also speakers for the radio. It also has a residential power microwave out here and power outlets as well as a little bit of storage here as well. The great thing about the Laredo's, they do come with a ladder so you can inspect your roof as you need. You don't have to uh, get an external one, it's just built in here. Very convenient no matter where you go, you can inspect it. Uh, all of your water goes here in the stocking station, conveniently located on the back. Spare tires also conveniently located on the back. Uh, it is also prepped for a backup camera, being that this unit is over 30 feet, definitely advisable to have a backup camera for safety. And it is 50 amp service, so it does have two ACs. This unit has three slides total, plenty of room. You also have an extra storage door here. And it is a six gallon gas and electric water heater. So that way you have hot, uh, hot water at all times no matter where you go. It's also prepped for solar panels if you want to go dry camping. Keep your battery charged, keep your lights on. And one of my favorite features that Laredo does, this does have auto level. So just like a fifth wheel, a high-end fifth wheel, all you have to do is press one button, levels itself out. It's going to save you an hour of setup time at least. Lots of uh, saving you from cursing, lots of frustration. It does also feature a battery disconnect as well. So if you store your RV for long periods of time, all you have to do is flip the switch. Uh, you don't have to disconnect your uh, your terminals or anything like that. And uh, turn on the lights on the cap so you can see, even though it's a little bit bright out here. Okay, so now we'll go inside. Alright, let me get 
give you a 360 view here. Alright, so here we are in the living room of the Sorito 332BH. Uh, great thing about this unit, it does include a LED TV. And, you know, like I was saying, for somebody that travels for work a lot but still wants something the family can enjoy, this one has two very comfortable recliners that are located right in front of the TV. So after a hard day's work, uh, you can enjoy whatever entertainment you want uh, in comfort. You don't have to sit at the dinette um, or sit on a jackknife sofa because you have a recliner here, just like a rear kitchen or a uh, rear living. Uh, it also see, uh, features a dinette that can seat four comfortably. It does also turn into a bed for extra sleeping capacity. The great thing about the Laredo is these drawers just glide in and out. Um, you don't have to lift and pull like some lesser brands out there. And it does feature a uh, coffee bar or uh, alcoholic bar, whichever your preference is. Lots of storage for uh, coffee beans or uh, bottles of whatever you would like. You do also have a uh, power outlet here for a blender or perhaps a coffee maker, whatever you want. And lots of under storage as well right here. So that was a very good use of space in my opinion on this unit. Um, and then also speaking of uh, the cabinetry, you know, these are screwed and glued cabinetry, uh, really high end, nicer than the cabinets in my house, so um, definitely a large part of the budget does go toward that. A uh, great thing about the kitchen, it has two gas and electric eight cubic foot refrigerators. Um, you know, honestly, we have some units that have the residential, full residential fridges, but you know, these are really made for an RV to handle the shaking and vibration as you're going down the road traveling. Um, so this one is going to have a lot of longevity um, and you know even if you don't necessarily need two refrigerators you could use this one you know just keep it off and use it for dry storage always got to have lots of storage um, on the island great thing about Laredo is these are solid surface countertops so they're non-porous they're not going to capture bacteria very easy to clean and also with the sink it is a one-piece undermount stainless steel so if you have any food or debris here, all you have to do is just wipe it in there, uh, flush it down. The sink is stainless steel, so it's not going to uh, stain. It's more resistant to bacteria. And then also it does have a residential style faucet here. Uh, makes it easy to wash dishes, vegetables, whatever you need. Uh, great thing about the Laredo's, it does have a trash can right here in the island. So it's out of the way, actually two trash cans, double bonus. Um, so everything's just really well thought out on Laredo's. Um, you know, honestly, I really like to recommend the Laredo to seasoned RVers because they really think of everything. They pull out all the stops, um, which is why they are the leader in affordable luxury. And it does have a uh, three burner cooktop here, uh, more efficient versus the older style four burners. So use this one for boiling, these two for simmering. You don't need any specialty pots and pans. Uh, the ones you use at home will work just fine and does feature a large oven as well. Uh, the range hood actually works, so if you do cook inside, uh, you can vent all those fumes so your coach doesn't stink up. Overhead storage as well. Another uh, residential power microwave here, stainless steel. More solid surface countertops here. Another electrical plug. Tons of drawers. I don't want to open all these. I'd be here all day. Um, also, it does have an electric fireplace. It's on light show right now, so it's not generating heat but in addition to the very powerful furnace, uh, you can use this to save propane, still keep warm. And also it does have a uh, all-in-one radio, AM, FM, CD, DVD, and Bluetooth. Uh, right now it is on the uh, HD antenna that is included. Uh, also it does have a uh, coat rack here with a cardboard pin board, very nice touch there. So we'll go ahead and move to the bunk room. Here we are on the bunk room. Uh, you have a single bed here, room for entertainment, lots of storage for clothes, and you do have a very comfortable couch here uh, that can work as a bed, and you have this other single bunk, and then whenever it's time to just chillax, you can fold that right out of the way. And also, a uh, really nice thing, you do have an extra window here for cross ventilation, and another window there. Um, also a vent here as well if you really want to get cross ventilation. Uh, good thing about Laredo's, um, this one is ducted of course, but the really unique thing is that it is a um, racetrack AC system. So it works kind of in like an um, oblong oval shape to cool down the entire unit. Um, honestly I had a, I just showed this unit 
and uh, my customer was saying how much trouble his RV currently has keeping up uh, with the heat traveling all over the place. So I only had this unit plugged in for an hour and we were only running the main AC which is 15,000 BTUs but because of the racetrack AC design the entire unit was cooled down in an hour. Uh, it was only 8.30 in the morning but you know everybody knows it's hot at 8.30 in the morning in Texas, all the humidity. So um, with that being said, the uh, design of the AC ducts on this are very efficient and also uh, this unit has Coleman ACs, uh, not other brands that are out there so we find that um, Coleman they definitely take care of you after the sale um, and anytime you need something they work very quickly so that's definitely a plus. Uh, one more thing with the Laredo's, it does have a radius ceiling uh, so it does feel taller in here, it's not just a flat surface. So you know in addition to the three slides having that extra headroom uh, makes it feel very large in here. My customer was saying that uh, this is like a fifth wheel layout but without having to worry about the steps going up uh, to the main bedroom. So here we are in the main bedroom. Uh, great thing about the Laredo's, this is a true 60 by 80 queen bed. So if you buy any queen mattress, the mattress will fit perfect, uh, all your bedding will fit perfect. As I said, this unit is 50 amp service, so you have a dedicated AC up here. Um, you have all the prep for a TV there if you want to mount one. Um, it does have two wards on either side to hang clothes, overhead storage, a cubby area with chargers there. And really nice thing about the Laredo's, it does have a uh, hydraulic assist, so this will stay open without your intervention once you lift it up and um, just makes it really easy, glides right open. So um, last thing here in the bathroom it does have a 50 inch residential uh, shower, plenty of room in here and it does have a residential uh, style shower head there. Let's see if you need it. Plenty of room in here. As you see, uh, really nice thing about Laredo's, this toilet is actually porcelain. So, just to show you that they really do pull out all the stops. Um, you know, this unit does weigh about 10,000 pounds gross vehicle weight, but in my opinion, that just shows you the build quality uh, of all the components. It's fully uh, aluminum framing, heated in a closed underbelly. Uh, so, Laredo's, they're really one of my top picks if you have the vehicle to tow it. Um, and the price point is affordable for you, it's a great option. Alright guys, again this is Nico from Cliff Jones RV in Sealy. I was really excited to show you this floor plan, I think a lot of people will really like it. Um, kind of fill some gaps that other floor plans don't. Uh, if you'd like some more information, my number is 979-253-2611. Thank you so much for watching.